I thought, okay, in order to get to there, which is the acting, you're going to have to have something in here. What do you like? Teaching? Because you're going to end up teaching anyway. <laughs> Off to teacher's college. Got that and then did the stint of, uh, of teaching for a few years. Upset the school board. Wait, wait. How did you upset the school board? Oh, well, see, because... <laughs> You get this devilish little grin on your face. Well, he, he, it just coincided that my first year of teaching after teacher's college mm -hmm. was 64, 65. And at the beginning of 1965, Rocky Jones and Joan Jones and their little daughter Tracy arrived in Halifax from Toronto to begin the Nova Scotia Project and Club Quacha, Quacha House. It was the very beginning of the um, social political activism on a level that rivaled what was happening in America. And uh, although we used vehicles like the Company of Young Canadians, which was an organization set up under Lester B. Pearson uh, that uh, funded youth, uh, political activist youth groups all across the country. Uh, and so we hooked into that uh, so that we could operate as an autonomous group, independent of the, you know, the, 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 the intents and dictates of the Company of Young Canadians. We were ourselves. We were the Nova Scotia Project because we felt that we had to deal with things that the uh, other groups within the company did not have to deal. Um, and so we we were paid, I was paid, Joan was paid, da, 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 as members of the Company of Young Canadians, but we were structuring the Nova Scotia project and our, uh, uh, our closest affiliates were, you know, uh, SNCC, Student on Violent Coordinating Committee, which at that time, you know, had Rap Brown and mm. Stokely Carmichael and all of them before they broke to form the Panthers, which whom we also became affiliated mm. um, very closely. And therefore, we sitting in Nova Scotia, this group, we had tentacles out to everybody so that we knew and understood the philosophy of Southern Christian Leadership Conference, Dr. King. We knew SNCC. We knew CORE, the Congress on Racial Equality. We knew the Panthers. Uh, we were, were aware of the uh, philosophies of uh, all the groups, uh, the Sibionese Liberation Army, all the factions, everybody. Which didn't mean that we were always affiliated with certain factions, but certainly with the major ones, which is why we ended up being, you know, uh, uh, under the close scrutiny of what became CESAs, mm -hmm. under the scrutiny of the FBI, under the scrutiny of the CIA, who ended up sitting in our kitchen. So there's a file on you somewhere. Oh, yes. We, and we all could have gotten them. Rocky got his, but he said, uh, said, well, why did you get yours? And why did you use yours? Because you know, because everything's redacted. There ain't nothing down there. I mean, please, it's a, don't you waste your time. <laughs> like, uh, uh, I'd be a little curious. I'd be a little curious to see, you know, like, wait a second. So they bugged my bathroom or, I don't know. 
I'd be a little curious to know. Well, we even know where they sat. I mean, it, right. it's all clicked like a like a like a a, a, a movie in our minds. Mm -hmm. My cousin Jordan and I talk about it frequently when I go home. We remember the guy sitting where he sat, where right. where he I had placed his bag. We we remember, you know. Mm -hmm. And then ten years later, you find out. Oh, okay. <laughs> right, well, okay.